back for another video here on Virtual Sheet Music. And today I'm really excited to tell you about my number one favorite app for flute. The app I super duper duper love is called Tunable and it is available for Android and iOS. It is not free, you do have to pay for it. Totally worth it. Now, one of the reasons I love this app is because it's got a tuner, a metronome, and a recording app all in one place. So I'm a little bit easily distractible when it comes to my phone. <laughs> if I have to be finding my tuner app and then scrolling through my other list of apps to get to my metronome app, I'm more likely to be distracted in the middle of a practice session. But with Tunable, if I am choosing to use my phone for a tuner and metronome that day, I can do it all in one place so I don't get as easily distracted. I also love that I can record while using the metronome and the tuner. I can actually record, tune, and use the metronome all at the same time in one app, which is super amazing. That's so, so useful. I do like using my legit microphone and computer to record myself, but not always what I'm looking for just in the middle of a practice session if I want to see how something's working musically or see what my sound is actually like that day. But the number one reason that I love, love, love this app is that you can see your vibrato. It is incredible. It's so, so, so useful for teaching vibrato to my students and making sure that mine is working the way I want. So let's say, for example, you tune your A. Once you have tuned your A and you feel like it's a good mezzo forte, solid tone, um, that is where you want the middle of your vibrato cycle to be. So if our vibrato is a wave shape, on the app you can actually see that. So what I'm looking for when I'm watching my vibrato on the tunable app is to see that the top of the wave and the bottom of the wave are equidistant from the middle line. If my vibrato is making me go sharp, then it's gonna push both of those higher compared to where my I was when I was in tune. If my vibrato isn't strong enough, then maybe you'll find that the top one is too low compared to the middle line. So we really want them to be evenly spaced away from our middle line of being in tune. I'm also watching for the shape of my vibrato. If it's too spiky, that's how some of my students sound when they start learning vibrato. The top part happens faster than the bottom part. It's like whoa, 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 then um, that you can use this app to remind you to even it out. So incredibly useful. Just love the Tunable app. Cannot recommend highly enough. Again, it's available for Android and iOS, and I hope it helps you smooth out your vibrato, make it more even, and help you play more musically. If you have any questions about Tunable or flute in general, let me know down in the comments below. I love answering all your questions. And also feel free to check out my website, spencermusicstudio.com. I have links to free resources, um, free games for flute students, and some really great flute choir pieces on there. Hope you enjoy. Please go check that out, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.